was amazing. And then afterwards, we got the opportunity to hang out, uh, hang with him backstage in the green room, and we took pictures with him and talked with him, and just the sweetest guy. You can tell that he was just very genuine. Hey, everybody! Happy Monday! I. As always, I'm waiting for Rich to get home. <laughs> I'm going to start on dinner in a little bit. It's almost 5 o'clock. But I just read the uh, sad news that um, Robin Williams passed away. Definitely very sad. He was a very good actor as far as like comedically and also like in his dramatic roles. Just a huge loss um, to the profession. But uh, I had, Rich and I had the... Um, we actually got to meet Robin Williams a couple of years back. I think it was like in 2009, the summer of 2009, right before we moved out of Chicago. And one of my friends, uh, one of my good friends, is a, is a comedian. And he called us up one Saturday night and he's like, hey, I'm performing you know, down the street. Do you want to come check me out? Now, he, the comedy club that he was going to be performing at was, is, was literally like two blocks away from our apartment. So we're like, yeah, of course, we'll come check you out. Because hey, no matter where he was performing, we, if we could make it, we'd go and support him. So we went to go check out his show. You know, it was really fun, as always. Uh, a bunch of other comedians were there. And then towards the end of the set, the owner walks out on stage, and he was just very nervous. Like, just like, you can hear like a nervousness in his voice, and he's just like, I have a really good friend that decided to join us tonight. He's, you know, he was in town and he, uh, he called me up and asked me if it was okay for him to come in and do a set. And I, of course, said yes. So without further ado, Robin Williams. And Robin Williams walked out on the stage and I was like, what the heck? Rich and I were both like, what, what's going on here? And he did like about an hour show and it was like just the funniest slightly raunchy, uh, slightly offensive, but it was like one of the best shows, comedy shows we have ever, I have ever seen. And I've seen a ton, you know, I've worked in the a comedy club industry for probably about, I think six and a half years. So definitely one of the best performances I have ever seen. And it was so like, you know, just very like off the cuff, working off the audience and just, it was amazing, and then afterwards we got the opportunity to hang out, uh, hang with him backstage in the green room, and we took pictures with him and talked with him, and just the sweetest guy. And you can tell that he was just very genuine, um, you know, just very nice and accommodating, and just you know, just really sweet. So I'm, I'm glad we got a chance to uh, meet him. But yeah, it's been definitely a sad day. Uh, but yeah, I texted Rich and let him know the news, and then I also put on my Facebook and tagged a couple of my friends that were there with us that night and also met him um, in person and we're just kind of all shocked. It's just a very sad, sad loss indeed. Boogie. No, he's under the bed. He doesn't even go in the, the tree anymore. Here he comes. Shaking himself loose. He's gonna say. That was rather rude, Boogie. He's not really sure. He's committed to this whole being awake thing, right? Mm -hmm. He's got to check himself out of the mirror. We're headed to Whole Foods to get some kinky curly for my hair because I feel like I have a couple of sheeps on my head. I really need to get a haircut, which probably won't happen for another two weeks because I want to diet first. Uh, so I'll probably um, diet this weekend and then next week and go get a cut. And then afterwards, we're going to go to Petco, right? Yep. Where the pets go because our hummingbird fear broke. That was quite sad. Waiting for Rich outside of uh, Whole Foods. He's in line. But I think I'm going to be going down here to this. Uh, it's called Threads for Thoughts. Seems like a pretty cool store. They have like yoga mats in there and clothing, shoes. We went into that store and I got this uh, little purse right here, which I've been looking for. <laughs> I'm just trying to squeeze it. <laughs> you should have just came in through the roof. It might have been easy. <laughs> but yeah, I was uh, looking for like a little bag, cross body bag like this, just so when we go like on the scooter, um, I can carry like my camera and whatever, my camera and my phone in. So it's perfect. It was only like 20, it was only 20 bucks. Beverly Hills. Petco. 
that's the high in Petco, right? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have snobby uh, cats and dogs in there? Yeah. Petco was a bust. They didn't have what we needed. We got a couple of things, but not what we're actually going for, which is the hummingbird feeder. Uh, they did have hummingbird feeders, but they were pretty big. Uh, and we want something that's kind of small because we're doing it on the down low. <laughs> <laughs> as far as like hanging it off our air conditioner, so we want something kind of small where, you know, it may not be seen by the building owner. So we're gonna head to CVS and see if they have it there because the hardware store that I had wanted to go to, that Rich didn't want to go to, uh, is closed already. They closed about eight minutes ago. So, no, maybe the CVS the last time we were there had them, but who knows? Leaving CVS, no luck, no hummingbird feeders. They had hummingbird food. Yep. No hummingbird feeders. So, we are just going to uh, go home at this point and then pick up the hunt again tomorrow, right? Passing by the Laugh Factory. Robin Williams, rest in peace. Looks like there's something going on here. And all the trucks. So, I showed you guys the bag that I got from, what was that place from? Threads and something. I forget what the hell, what the heck it was called. Uh, this is uh, what I got from Whole Food. Oh, where's my kinky curling? Is that still? I think it might be still in the car. I'm gonna go around and get it. Um, it's nature color in black for my hair dye. We got some more of this litter deodorizer, which is amazing. Bunch of food for Woogie. He likes the chick on the front, so we like to get him this kind. Uh, silk almond milk from CVS. More of these fancy feet broths because he likes them. And then we decided to get him. They didn't have uh, the toy that we were looking for because we um, one of his toys broke that he really likes. So we're trying to look for a replacement, but they didn't have that. So we got this instead. So a little flirty bird flyer. Ooh. Jeez. I think it's a success, right? How much? It was like 13 bucks. Yeah. That's not too bad. Much better than the $25 for so this original. For the other one? What? No, for this. This was originally for sale for $25. Bucks. Oh, it was? And so it was on, on sale for $13? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. There you go. Get your workout in. Come on. Come on, Pudgy. We're gonna part ways for the evening, right? Uh, hopefully everybody had a fun, exciting, sun-filled, rain-free uh, Monday. Let us know what you guys did. Let us know how you're gonna wait on the challenge if you're part of one of the challenges. Uh, let us know what channel you watched before you watched our channel. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.